We really like take hosting seriously. Matcha. This is the prime <laughs> time in Sweden. So we're slowly trying to integrate him. Do you not like the camera either? Welcome back to our channel. My name's Morgan. I'm Will. And this is Matcha, the newest addition to our family. Hey, baby. <laughs> We've now had matcha for two days. This is the third day at home. Yeah. He's a little angel. Yeah. Matcha was adopted by us after a whole rehoming situation. He's been such a little angel. I mean, we've had a couple hiccups here and there, obviously. Uh oh. Still poop. But he slept through the night for the most part. He stays by our side all day, every day. He follows me to the bathroom. <laughs> he's learning, he's eating, he's drinking water, he's walking, he's playing. He's very healthy, it seems. We're gonna take him to the vet next week just to make sure all is good. But we love him so much already, and we thought we'd take you along for a little day in the life because we are prepping for our third weekend of having guests in our home. Last year we bought this home in Sweden as a base after Morgan received her temporary residency and ever since we've hosted, we have renovated and we have loved owning a little property. We just wanted to show how we prepare for a weekend of fun at the Swedish cottage. This is the prime time in Sweden. It's spring, the sun is shining, it's at its peak, everything's blooming. It's beautiful here. So everybody wants to come see us, which we're not complaining about. It'll be interesting to see how it goes with a little pop. So tag along. We're gonna take this little one for a walk. Because you need to be in blue right now. Mikey! when you don't have enough ramen for two people, so you gotta whip something up really quick. He is so tired. Nap time, baby. I'm making sourdough for tomorrow, and it is thriving in this warm weather. I just finished the bulk fermentation, and it took like half the time that it normally does. Matcha's here. He also peed outside. Very good job, brother. Progress. I'm going to shape this. Even though our guest is coming tonight, one of them is gluten-free, so sadly he won't be able to eat my bread. But it's always nice to bake fresh loaves and then we typically freeze one, so we have it for the week. So we were told that he is a toy Maltese. Both parents were apparently toy Maltese, but the more we get to know him, the more we think he might have some like chihuahua in him or like some kind of terrier. I don't know. I think we maybe want to do one of those little dog DNA tests and see. Because I don't think that he's a pure Maltese. We love him either way. We just want to know what his heritage is. <laughs> do you not like the camera either? Your big sister didn't like the camera. Ever since I watched a post of Darren Aline about like shaving and like... Uh... <laughs> like razor. This fatal convenience is focused on what is largely just overlooked, and that is the smooth strip on the razor. I started using my buzzer to like just trim my. He was wondering what that was. Okay. He was wondering what it was. There's a weird sound coming from the bathroom. He's really good with sounds though. Yeah, like we juice every morning, and he's immune to it now. The first time we turned it on, he was like, What is that? But he doesn't even react now. I think we're just trying this philosophy where we just go about our lives and do things the way we've used to doing them and uh, he just has to adapt. We're going to sit down and plan what we are making for our guests this weekend. We really like take hosting seriously and we, <laughs> bless you. we always serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner and fika. Bless you. What did I scare you? Did you say bless you? It's, it's hard to like get your mind into something else. Like, I just want to stare at him. Hence why it's Friday. Our guests are arriving tonight and we're just now deciding what we're cooking for the weekend. Typically we have this sorted at the beginning of the week, but we're a bit behind because we've had guests both last weekend and the weekend before that. Hey, we haven't even been to the grocery store. 
We actually made a menu for our guests that come, so we'll probably give them the menu and give them the choice, but we like to have everything that's on the menu kind of at home for the most part, but I don't know. We're gonna do maybe a lighter version this weekend. Yeah. Mosh is currently resting his head in my hand right now. What are you <laughs> This is the first time that we're giving him like really any freedom while we're trying to do something else in the living room. Typically we have him blocked off in the kitchen, but he just jumped down to get a bone that was on the floor. And now he's playing with it. He's so good. I'm gonna head out and do some lawn mowing now. I'm going to try to do a workout, but that hasn't gone very well for the last few days. Oh, we meet again, Mr. Lawn Mower. Not the biggest fan of you, but you know what? I'm glad I have you. Let's see now. This thing up, battery in, close that up. Neat little thing. Here's the project of the day. It's now bath time for the little guy. We did this a couple days ago, so this is not his first bath, but I just cleaned out the sink. It's the perfect little space for him to be bathed. And he doesn't love it, but we gotta keep your white fur clean. And he gets these little tear stains and I'm trying to really be on top of it and clean them. And brush your teeth and give you a little spa time. It's a two person job for it's sure. It's a two person job for now, yeah. We're working on it. Luckily right now he's in a very sleepy mode because he hasn't taken a nap and he's been on like three walks. So hopefully that helps today. It's calming. How's it going, Mr. Macho? <laughs> Boy, poor guy. He hates being wet. Time to blow dry. Macho. Hey, buddy. Yes, yeah, good boy. Matcha is clean. He is barking at the lawnmower. It's just daddy. It's just daddy mowing the lawn. It's okay. We brushed his teeth. We brushed his fur. We cleaned his face. He didn't like it, but he did really well. That's my favorite duo doing. Five minute break. <laughs> Five minute break. You need to set the table outside. Matcha. Hey, how are you doing? Mochi, He's so mochi. fluffy and clean. <laughs> I think there's one thing that people don't talk about sometimes with dogs is how they usually like they attach to one owner first. Machas attached himself to Morgan. She held him first while we left the place. She spent more time with him because I've been at work. So I'm, oh, thank you for licking me. So we're slowly trying to integrate him. You too, Maya as well. But now, right now, all he wants is mommy. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what mommy does. Where's mommy, Macha? We are going to the grocery store now to get some stuff. I'm gonna walk Matcha down by the water while Will is in the store. Do you need a hand? This is the dad life. <laughs> we just got back home. It's 6.30 roughly. Um, just kidding, it's six o'clock. Matcha just finished his dinner. How was it, baby? Was it good? We've been cooking him fresh meat and veggies. It's what we did with Callie and we found that it worked really well in just her overall health. So we're doing the same with him and it seems to be working well so far. He really, really loves it. Our guests aren't gonna arrive until like 9 p.m. So we actually have a few more hours before they get here, but that's okay because we still have a lot of things to get done. Will is just doing some editing. Macho, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Hello. Hello. Oh, who's going there? On your tail? <laughs> look at that one, look at that. Hi, baby. Always with us. It is dinner time. Making the usual. Household classic. The Mediterranean, as we call it. Mosh has been out three times now, and we think he needs a poo, but... He won't. He won't. So, uh, yeah, right now he's taking a nap. So maybe you just need to sleep before he poos. You can put the cheese on now. Thank you. <laughs> this is Will's job, because I don't like to get it on my hand. This is what I do. Crispy onions. The best topping there ever was. Gluten-free. Delicious. I don't care how many times we eat this, I will forever love this dish. Look at this sneaky baby. Oh my god. Oh, he 
wants to do is just be right here like all day. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised at how cuddly he is. This is his third day here and he just doesn't want to be away from us. Mm. Okay, I have to make cookies now. I made this cookie now a few days ago. I think we'll do like a little cookie sandwich bar situation. Since they're coming so late, I think we're just gonna have tea and cookies. <laughs> Always coming in and eating my stuff. Oh my gosh, I love this little thing. He's so sweet. Yum. Nothing like vegan homemade cookie dough. I'm very curious to see because this is obviously the first set of people we have here since Matcha came home. And he does get a little defensive when people come into the house or even like comes into his space. I think he gets a little defensive. He might have some trauma or stuff and that's okay. I'm just curious to see how he is with our friends coming into our home. As our guests are running a little bit late, we are going to move our party from our outside room into our living room, which means that I'm gonna light a fire. Not necessarily for the heat, but just for the vibes. Comment below and tell me how could I like evolve my skills. I'm cheating a bit because I'm using like a lighting cube. You know, it's something just about the sound of a fire. It's so nice. I love it. It's just after midnight, we're just about to go to bed, and what happened, Matcha? As you can see, our sheets are now gray. Matcha decided to pee in the bed. It's okay, it's been a very hectic night for him. And... You're doing really well, but now you're nestled in it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little dog. You gotta work on the potty training. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Hey, do. Bye. Bye. The aftermath after yesterday's little pee situation in bed. I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh.